And after a conversation where I essentially called him out on it, uh, he accused us all of pushing him away over the past month or so. Um, we did that. We did that. Apparently. Very resentful. Like, tone and everything. Um. Very defensive. He was lying to me throughout the whole thing. He's been staying down here in the ADMC block. I've had officers tell me he's been doing crime with them throughout. And he really didn't admit it. And then just admitted the lying at the end of it. Um, and then at the end of it all, he wanted to say something the whole time. And I'll be honest, man, I got pretty pissed because any, uh, the fact that he would even consider being around the people that put his sister in the hospital makes my skin crawl. And I said, if he carries on like that, then he's no son of mine. And he said, well, good. Cause I'm not your son anyway. <laughs> wow so he'd made his mind up before that conversation right. even started mm -hmm. he was just waiting for me to say something so that he could bite back I don't know what's happened to him I really I don't, don't something tells me that's the only thing he had fucking loaded in the chamber and he's just waiting to say it but I'm telling you now, if I said the thing I wanted to say that one day about Rue, and the only reason I'm not saying it is because I know the consequence of doing so. I, I would very easily be their number one target. No questions asked. So I'm glad I didn't say it, but holy fuck was I close. Just be careful and Bru according to Esther and Maple justified what the club did to Etta, that is. They said she said that because of what Etta said that it was okay for them to bait her out and onto the Cassidy trail and stab her and torture her. Who baited her out? Ivy Grayson, now the doctor, a right? member of ADMC. A doctor? Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. All right, well. Um. I uh, appreciate the update. Um. It's been a little while since I've been around and uh, sick and or busy. Um, yeah. Just, so I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, just, just I, well, I need you to know this. I'm mentally drained no, I, because every time I show up, it's a call. Someone's in the ICU. This person has done this. This person has done that. I have zero zero me time it's maple contacting me telling me stuff has happened and and while it's important that i know it sure it's every single time and it's not their fault but i'm i'm letting you know now i do not have the mental capacity to to deal with all of what's going on So, okay. no, no, you don't that's have just a heads up that if you start hearing that I'm ignoring people, um, not talking to people, that is why. That is my coping mechanism so that I don't have to end up in the fucking hospital or Parsons. Okay. 
I'm not a therapist. And so I'm useless in these conversations with people when I'm in this state. And I know that sounds super fucking insensitive, but if I'm if I'm letting people know I'm at my 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 mental threshold and any a gust of wind is going to push me over, I need people to stop letting me know what's going on. As fucked up as that sounds, because I'm going to end up in a worse position. I, I understand, and I'm sorry for not being there for you as much as I could have been. No, no, no. It's it. It's no. It's no, not. It's no. okay. Listen, you said to me in the interrogation room like a month ago that you felt like you were drowning and but so much has been going on that i'm sorry just take all the time you need and whenever you you're ready as i do i take time and then literally at the earliest possible opportunity I'm being informed by somebody that something else has happened and it's completely out of my control and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and I'm already at my wits end, essentially. Like every time without fail. Uh, half of the time it's Maple. And, and the fucked up thing is I know everybody who's telling me these things is, is doing it out of out of sort of an abundance of caution, concern, just wanting me to know what's going on so I can be informed. But like, for me, it's doing more harm than good at the moment. Which again, is fucked up. Like, uh, to be clear, I'm not upset that Etta has gone into the ICU or that Etta was harmed, right? But like when I explain to people, I, I can't be told this stuff because of my mental right now. The issue becomes Again, I, I'm going to get pushed over that mental threshold. And I tell everyone, like, you know, I'm I'm typically the person who, despite being there, um, will will try to help people. But I'm I can't do that. I can't. Because it's in, every single time, every single time something is happening. And I don't want anybody to, like, frame this as a um, how can Rhodes be upset? you know that somebody's telling him um so and so you know the, the family member ended up in the icu but like i deal with what's in front of me and if somebody is putting something in front of me that becomes very problematic when i'm uh, i already can't deal yeah no i i, I understand i i get it and it, um, it's just so, it's so fucked. I hate this because no. the people who are telling me don't know. And again, it always comes from uh, from a place of just, you know, wanting other uh, not wanting other people to know. But like. They want me to know when things are, are you know, not good. Like, I'm not kidding. The the last time the last time I was on duty, Maple approached me. And one of the first words out of his mouth was, um, don't worry, this isn't a bad one. Like, that's that's my conversations with Maple. Because every conversation I have with him has pretty much been him telling me something atrocious has happened. How do I how do I tell someone? Hey, if you have bad information, don't tell me. That's fucked. You, let me worry about that, okay? Uh, no, because there's no way to... There's no way to frame that in a good light. I don't know. 
the next time I see Pixie, I'm probably gonna have a conversation with her and, and schedule something because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. That's that's probably a good idea. What um this Ivy person? What are they just uh, a normal doc or? Um, I don't. I don't even. Maybe that. Maybe I'm getting confused. I think that parent. I think they're the daughter of Canter, so I don't even know if they're actually a daughter. Just don't don't worry about it. Okay, just. There's people looking into it already. I'm more so asking for myself. Like, if I speak to Pixie, I'm not going to end up scheduling an appointment with this doctor who did this, right? Um. I don't think so. I don't think they're hired anymore. Okay, good. Just, uh, yeah, just talk to Pixie and right, I will. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll speak to Etcher. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Thank you. And I love okay. you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Friend. You know, in a situation not that many years ago, you were just sitting just like that, begging me to shoot you in the back of the head. You know, I wish you really would have died. Hey, nothing can kill me, Nova. It goes, I, I'm, I'm like more impervious than the cockroaches. Everybody else will be dead before me. It's probably true. You are like a fucking cockroach, Fred. Do it on the roof. Uh, game fresh air. What are you I doing? I used to work there. I know you did, and then you left. I didn't leave. I got fired. You got fired? What'd you get fired for? Damn, uh, what I get fired for? Hey, why don't you can talk to Angel about it? Yeah, I heard you two, uh, you two split up. For good. Yep. That's real. That, I'm bitch. so sorry, Prez. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm well, you know what? You are. You are, Prez. Yeah. Year old model. You always did like feet, Prez. I don't like feet. Those little itsy bitsy feet. Oh, I don't have one. Why not? Why do I need it? Uh, I don't know. Yep. So you doing any work? I'm always doing work, Pred. You know me. You should know me better than anyone.
Suspicious. I think they know where he is now. What well, they may do. Radio so loud. This seems like another martial robbery. imagine yeah i think even nikki enjoyed it there hey dark how you doing you got any more warrants you want to put out on me no no fred because she sat run another one didn't ya fantastic <laughs> don't laugh uh, no, did, did anybody actually look, look for you hey Dark, I'm just gonna fucking skip town for a little bit. Such a bastard. He's such a son of a bitch, you know that. <laughs> uh, so you and Nova, huh? Yeah, me and Nova. Did you hate Nova when you were in the police. <laughs> well, I hated you when I was in the police too, Brad, but you know. Nah, you didn't hate me. You didn't hate me. You needed me. Yeah, I can do hey, I can do both, Brad. I can do both. Imagine no IA back then without me. I was literally all your work. Okay, Brad. Well, I mean that that is accurate. Yeah, you that is accurate. Board. Yeah, and I I appreciate all the work you gave me, Brad. I really do. Yeah, so, uh, it's cool seeing two mortal enemies working together up there. Nova. We're not mortal enemies, there. okay? I We're actually know, working together very well. I don't even hate you anymore, Pred. I just feel sorry for you. Yeah. Look at you. Look at look at you, Fred. You're old. You're washed. You goddamn single now. You lost the love of your life, Pred. Look at you. Your life's gone downhill, Pred. Hey, is your dad alive or dead? I was. I don't remember the outcome of that. I bet. I bet he's still alive. Probably sending you fucking letters and more dumpsters. No. Nope. Hey, you need to get over this shit that I shot you. All right, you're clearly still hanging on to it. 
Oh One day when you apologize, yeah, when you actually apologize in a heartfelt apology, I'll get over it. Oh my god, my dad! Hey, 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 Richard, who am I? Oh my, oh my god! My dad's <laughs> coming to town and he's gonna kill me! <laughs> I still remember, I still remember. Oh my god, Richard, will you hear something funny? Nova told her yeah. wife, Alexandra, alright? You know, Alexandra Carl, I don't know if they're still married or not. But no. I remember when Nova told Alexandra, you're not the love of my life, the other woman is, you're just my wife. That was fucking hilarious. Yep. Damn, Brad. That's no, it's not funny, man. It was funny. You should have been there. Oh my god, I was, it was, I was fucking, I was dying. Damn, Brad. I wish you would have died. Nova. Come on, man. What, what, what are you even doing here? Just haggling? What is yeah, this? Uh, that's a heckling. Yeah. Well, are you, you bring Jamal down in? Bartering with you. I don't need uh, anything from you. Are you sure? Yeah, I solved all my cases. Well, I had a uh, forehead call me the other day for some uh, uh, bullets for his revolver. That was pretty interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you give them to him? No. You mad? Why not? Why would I do that, Jack? Eh, just do it. Okay, uh, let's call it five thousand dollars a a bullet, Jack. Oh, that's corruption. Five thousand dollars a bullet. Okay, is you can just um, yeah, we can organize a meet and stuff. That sounds pretty good. You pass that message on now. Would we do that when we could just have you meet up with us and then take them from you? I mean, we're still gonna meet up, by the way. Nah, nah, I'm working on getting something. You working on getting something? What's that? Brain oh, cell. gonna love it. That, that was a good one from that way, yeah. What did Nova say? I didn't hear. Nothing. I say it, pussy. <laughs> Is that a brain cell? Have a brain. <laughs> you do have a brain. It don't fucking work, though. You threw everything away. No, no, my brain works. You literally good. threw everything away. I didn't throw anything away. I no, got you didn't throw it away. You were happy. You had a good marriage. You had a loving wife. You had all that stuff. You had a fucking good yeah, job at the state marshal. The and then you fucking threw it away. You threw it all away again, friend. You just fuck everything I didn't up. Throw it away. She threw me away. She didn't to blame her yeah, because you song. fucked it up. I Probably. Didn't fuck anything up. You don't have a good track record, Fred, do you? Yeah, go through all my case files. Yeah, that's casework, Fred. I'm talking about being a human being, you fucker. I don't got time to be a human being. What's Get out of here, you God, Do mere mortals mean nothing to me? Oh, there he is. Do, do you have there we go, you that's a Fred. He's got, he's got Goodbye, a god friend. complex. He's crazy. Ah, uh, shit, hold on. I came here to check and see if I have any warrants. Okay. Wrong door. Yeah, I know. The other one. Check if he's on warrant now. <laughs> he doesn't. I don't think so, anyway. Okay, I'm dropping down. What are you, what are you scared about? Just frenzy? Yeah, because the fucking besties ended up with a Marshall revolver. So I thought that might have been another shut up to try and get another one. Well, anyways, I'm going back to my besties investigation. What do you need help with that? Did you get anywhere with the Ingvar stuff? Oh, yeah. So you said he... Uh... He, he was the last one who had that Power Street 9 property. Yeah, I just really wanted to know who had it. 
Um, obviously, it was just like it had gone, and I need to know who had it. So it transferred to someone else in the gang. Um, it's good confirmation that Ingvar is, you know, obviously like still involved, which is good. Um, Kevin Ramp has purchased another two fucking properties. This guy is so loaded. So since the last time I checked his um, profile, he's bought another two properties. So he's brought uh, a Guja Street 19 and 20. Now, bear in mind, the price of these listed are 658000 and 518000 So within the past like two weeks, he spent upwards of a million dollars. This guy is mega rich. Like, it's insane. They're both residential, okay. but they... They they they're resident. They're listed as residential, but um, I get I don't I don't I guess I don't know the difference of, of the listings on this website. I'm guessing mm -hmm. it's to do with like taxes and that kind of thing, and access to like utilities is what I would imagine. Um. But yeah, I'm building up a proper dossier on these guys where we're going to have access to like the photographs of all their properties and everything out there. Because um, the MDT is way too limiting for what I want to do. So I'm going to be doing a proper big fucking website type thing. So I'm getting started on that now. So I'm just adding all the members. Um, an issue with Kevin is I have no idea what the guy looks like. Um, but yeah, these, they're, they're pumping out properties like nobody's business. Um, so, but yeah, that was the only thing I needed from that property thing. Eventually, once I've got the basis of this stuff down, it is going to be a lot of getting out and surveilling these places. Um, but yeah. I wonder if there's any... I mean, we could go survey the warehouse in general. I'm not for saying we can't do that. I know, because it's like the you think alleyway, alleyway's a public property, right? State property. An alleyway, yeah. I mean, it's not really. It depends where it is. So, you know, um. Look on Innocence and Power Street. On your GPS, you know the Innoc the Innocence twenty four seven. There's the alleyway that goes behind it. Yeah. And then so it goes. There's the alleyway that goes east to west, and then there's the alleyway that goes north to south. And then on the back of those buildings, on the alleyway that goes north to south, there's a doorway, and that's the entrance to the building. Have you got a tablet? Uh, yes. Go to real estate. Go to Power Street Nine, and you'll see the entrance. Actually, no, you won't. Oh, you, you will. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see the alleyway and the entrance. Power Street 9. Massive place. 4,900 square feet. Hmm. Yeah, you could easily just you could easily just fly a drone as well and just fly it above the fucking in the freeway. A bingle dance right. in the cells. Why is bingle in the cells? Because it's bingle. I really need to shoot this revolver, by the way, because I have no idea how this thing shoots. It's, uh, it's powerful, and you don't need to hit, you, you know, just point and shoot. <laughs> kind of want to go see Vingle. You want to come? Yeah, let's go there. Yeah. I need a, I need a little food run as well. Not right now, but... Soon. Thoughts on that convo format. Very sad. Very detailed thoughts. Have you had any more threats tell. from anybody today? 
Mm, no. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, chat, can you still, is everything good? Hold on a sec. I can't see chat anymore. Bear with me. You say it's Leo. Oh, I'd say so. My OBS is fro it's like frozen the viewing it has Fine as long as you guys can still see there's no issues Bing was the one that shot me in the fucking leg. Yeah. Where's my frames going fucking crazy? Okay, at the back. Actually, that's a bad idea. I don't think there's a lock on those back gates. No. Uh, why am I gonna reveal my sources? Oh. <laughs> Suck dick at the competition. No, no. What the fuck? Me inside. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, let's get it. In case I need anything. I bookmarks a bit. I've got too many things open. Close, close, close this, close this, close this. Handful. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about you? you Hello, Mr. Doc. I got at that gentleman named Casterman, right, not me. Tenful. I'm not Casterman. All right. Like now I want you Mr. Doc, uh, well, uh, Mr. Uh, Dan has refused. Uh, uh, we, I've done nothing to you. Um, so he's just chilling in this house now. So? See, you're, under, you're understanding me just fine, then go, all right? I have to kill you. What the fuck? What did what, what did what did I what did I just hear? I have to kill this guy. I have to. No, no, <laughs> no. You, yes, I guy. do. Yes, I do. You you really you you really don't. That that's I not do. a good. Yes, I do. I have to. Why would you want to kill the officer? Because I can, you... I can't understand him. You were just having that... a conversation with me, you cheeky fuck. Shut that up. Doesn't mean well. Would you like oh, me to translate, Vingle? Yes, oh, hello. Please, sure. Mark, hello, Mr. Scottish man. Hello, I'm um, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. He said his name is Gordon Vingle. Go, go ahead, Al. Fella, what he wants from me. Okay, he's Scottish. Okay, but I will. He, he's asking what he wants. I, I, I can understand. Yeah, I can okay, understand. Okay, it's you a can understand translation. him. Okay, so, yeah. Listen, wait. I was just coming down here to say hello to keep on a bit of company whilst we're waiting for the resting officer. Uh, he's here to, um, be nice and keep you company, Vingo. He wants to be your friend. I hate him. Kenny wants to kill me. 
use it on this. Uh, he sounds like Casterman, no, no. and I want to kill him. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> every, no, every is story it person sounds like Casterman, uh, Fingal. It's, it's kind of, I'll, it's kind of yeah, stereotyping, yeah. man. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up. Man. Does he have a license to have a gun, Crikey? He, he sounds a, like Casterman. I, I don't want to do anything until I go there. Oh man. He said, um, he's not afraid of you and he will not show fear. <clears throat> King, are you hearing this? What happened? No, I didn't. What happened? This Vingal thing wants to kill me. <laughs> Why's that? Yeah. Well, he sounds like Casterman. Who's that? Oh man, don't get me started. He doesn't have a gun license. This please. guy, don't even. Oh my god. Oh my Would god. Would you mind running the gun and I'll oh get his charges god. and stuff together? I'll, I'll, I I'll think get everything Don't started. run that gun. Don't do it. Oh, it's been oh. run. It's been oh. run. It is being run. Oh yeah. And it's going into the Evans locker. Right. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, imagine this, all right? Imagine this, all right? You're a cop. Mm -hmm. you, you're driving around the city. You're doing stuff. You're chasing the criminals. You're trying to give comms. You're trying to understand comms. Okay? Very important as an officer to be able to understand and give comms. Yeah. And then Casterman just shits up all the radio. He'll take lead because he's a stupid interceptor driver. He <laughs> takes the stupid lead, and then no one can understand him. <laughs> and then we lose the criminal. Okay, for some context, uh, Vingle Dan here used to be a police officer uh, many a year ago. Don't listen. Yes, don't try, don't try and get make logic out of it. Okay, it doesn't make any oh, sense. No. In fact, I was the one. I who was a good cop. I suspended you because you were rubbish. Oh, 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 that's crazy. No, actually, I, I, I suspended him I because he rubbish. he set fire to the American flag inside the police department. That is why I suspended oh. you. Uh, and you couldn't apologize. Can you tell me something dark? Let me tell you something. And you're not going to like this, but you got to hear it. You got to hear it because I like you, Dark. I like you. No, you and don't. You're trying to kill me. It. Yes, I do. Just because I want to kill you doesn't mean I don't like you. What I want to kill Fingal all the He's time, and I love crazy. him. Right. But I'm going to tell you something dark, and it's his reality, and it's coming I'm down sure on that. you like a ton of bricks. I'm sure and that. you're going you're gonna to really not like me when I say cool. it, but you got to understand it, that it's reality. Can you check my report about the fish thrower? Back in the day, Dark. Um, Back yes, in the day. I'll thrive out with us, though. All you did was sit around and do yeah, paperwork. Yeah. You had people like me out in the field fighting people. You <laughs> needed me. I can't see Fucking that. Fucking robot could do your job. <gasps> did you just say? Oh, How dare you? God. How fucking oh, dare you, you Dr. God. Zeus? I was, out hat, there. Motherfucker. I was taking class twos away from people while you. Sat in MRPD doing paperwork. I haven't been called a robot you in years. That is an old school insult. That's true. Did you that actually ever do any paperwork ever, Vingle? Hell no. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> and I was damn good at my job. How did this guy pass an interview? He was. Um, were you STS? Were you a diversity like higher? Well, back then... What, look. did they not get competency interviews? No. They... Uh, clearly. Listen to me. Back then was a different time. You had cops so green, they were too afraid to arrest someone with an AK on their back. Sounds but like now. Me. That does sound like now. Not me. I don't want to be friends with the criminals. I wanted to you don't kill them. You got any information you want to give up to the Vingal? Maybe, maybe oh, the no. police officer say you want to hear something, you know? No, I don't, I don't know if he has information. All, in Rhodes that wouldn't hire me brain. back. Hmm. What do you got, Crikey? Uh, it's registered to a Carmine Costello. Uh, oh boy! Or anything. Oh, it's not. Uh, oh. Wait, so it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, well, I'll, let me check through Carmine's profile. Then I'm gonna get. He's a cop. Oh. 
Is it a police farm or is it a civvy one? Nah, it's an MT M1911. Okay. Carmine yeah, sold me that gun. He Stolen did? on the 28th of oh, June. Right. Actually, oh, wait, hang on. Let me look at this. To the 28th of June? Oh, I'll get a charge yeah. for that. Let me go ahead and look at this report. I think me being here is agitating the suspect. I'm going to... I'm gonna take my leave. Uh, nice meeting you, uh, Marshalls. Uh, just a little okay. You too, Gordon. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Marshall. What? Why is he Gordon. talking like that? He's not. I don't oh. know why he's talking. I'm so sorry, um, both, not both of you. He's. He, I don't know what he's. He's quite pleasant. Bye bye, Vingo. No, he's not. See ya, God. Like, it's just hey, maybe this one. I'm so up with Gordon right now. How much upset did you buy the gun and for, disappointed. <clears throat> Uh, What's up, the Nova? latest uh, report is not for the same gun. I'm Ignore me then. Some few others. Fine. Vingo, how much did you buy the gun for? Uh, <laughs> I don't know a lot. What's up, Nova? You looking fine? <laughs> looking about as fine as how much you bought that gun for, huh? Uh, a lot. <laughs> huh? Crystal, did you see Vingle inside or running out of uh, the art asylum? None of I... the re uh, missing the stolen firearm reports are linked to this particular firearm. Oh my uh, god. The most recent <laughs> one, uh, last three digits of serial number is WV8. This one comes back to uh, EVN3. Okay. Yeah, he's only got, he's only, uh, Mr. Costello's reported his firearm stolen three times, all 1911s. Uh, only the third one has a serial number. The other two don't even have serial numbers. Understood. Okay. Uh, what were his other possessions? Because I've just got crim possession of firearm class one. He had somebody else's uh, license, a Maynard Schmidt, uh, that he, well, he said he was, he was Maynard, but once I did the fingerprint, fingerprint scan, I found his true identity and he lied to me. It was a prank, bro. Oh, okay, it's a prank. Never mind. That's all I good. thought you were um, in charge, Maynard. You said it was a prank? Because I'm going to give you an impersonation shot. Yeah, that's oh. fine. I'm going to go oh. ahead and make sure there's nothing Vingle, else. Hey, Vingle, are, you a, are you a bestie? What? Are you one of the besties? Are you... Fuck no. No, you don't You don't rep that gang? Hell no. No, you don't like them? them today. You were oh, with them today. I was, walking on the, I was walking on the street. Some guy asked me to get in the car, and then I did. Okay, Mr. I mean, uh, Dingle. That could be probable. I want to seize your possessions now, okay? Yeah, I'm almost that, positive I, I saw a forehead driving my stolen Taurus in that situation. Right. So. Right. Yeah. I'll start uploading the evidence in the... Uh, we got the car back. Wait, why isn't his door closing? Come on, door. Good door. Okay, do, go. Come on, let me go. Let's do a duel. Can't do it. You Sorry. want a duel? Yeah, all like Western style. If I kill you, I get to go free. God, that would be interesting okay. legislation, but unfortunately, we can't do that. I'm gonna take his cuffs real quick. Sorry. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. I've got all his charges done. I'll take these cuffs off you, Mr. Dingle. Well, well, well. Hey, what's good? Hey, what's good, oh. Bingo? Hey, you stole my car, you son of a bitch. my name. bestest friend. Why, why would you Damn. say that for you got nothing to hide? Good shit, PD. Look at that. Warren apprehension. Beautiful. I'm not going to name who it was. Oh, this guy yeah. is so stupid. Oh, Doesn't yeah. even know where Cyprus yeah. is. That's who, I'm, that's who I'm dealing with. Wow. Don't, don't get me started, these dumbass motherfuckers, dog. I don't even know where Cyprus is at. Who was oh, it? Which, which member? Now, don't worry about it, dog. <laughs> oh, this is a warrant, too. Idiot, nice. Jack. Well, I've got a warrant. Uh, yeah, this is a warrant, too. This yeah, is the one where you assisted Vingle when he shot me in the leg in the office. Uh, what the? Well, assisted? What the fuck did I do? Yeah, when you dragged them away and tackled my ass. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Whoa, well, hold on now. I'm holding. I'm holding. I, I didn't do any of that. Oh, I guess my my memory betrays me. 
but I don't remember being diagnosed with dementia. Yeah, Vingle's fine. He's just being Vingle. <clears throat> Good job, Dan. This is what t this is what TRTs are made for. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bloody yeah. beautiful. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got, a, we got a, yeah, yeah. I wish we could do a press conference, but you know, we're not allowed to do press conferences anymore. Why? Um, a criminal was not happy. So. Who okay. cares? Pussies or what? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't want a press conference. What's wrong with you? Are the, ear, are the ears part of the hat or do they just stick out the hat? It's called high fashion. High on mushrooms, maybe. <laughs> I want right. to skin you. What? <laughs> Dark, come on, bro. Do you want me to charge him for threats there, Richard, or no? <laughs> hey! Doug, well, I just want to cut off with your Technically, he didn't threaten him. He just said he wants to, not that he would. Listen, I'll leave oh, the charges up to I you, will. okay? But I'm not scared right. of this little guy. Yeah. All right, I'm sticking with the same charges. You're just fucking scared. I'm How not did, scared uh, of you. Yes, you are. Wait, what did you say, Cracky? I'll just say the evidence has been put up. Uh, oh, brilliant. Thank you for that. You're just mad awkward. that Nova has a thing for me. Imagine and for not sure, you. <laughs> You're good. I'm mm, married. Okay. All right. I literally have not a ring for... on it. What? What? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I got to kill Rhodes. That's not going to happen. No. Uh, yeah, it happen. will. No, it simply will not occur. Yes, it will. Mm. No. I, I have, have to, to ruin not... Dark's family. Oh my god! Have you, I, I tried to tell you really something cool. that is happening, that's, and that's your your transport up to Bolingbroke State Penitentiary, Vingle. If the bus uh, is ready, the paperwork yeah. is done. You're going in for 29 months, you fucking scumbag. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, Hell yeah. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> no. -uh. Okay, explain, explain this. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. Well, you. Vingle. Do we have any 10 8 units? Uh, That's a wall, Vingle. You're definitely going. I don't know what you think you're doing standing over in that corner. DOC going to come in here and rip you out and take you up at the I bus can. and then you're gone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, you, oh, you get you. Oh, my God. He oh, smacked you. It's okay. It's a bee sting. It was a bee Fucking sting. Bitch. This Mr. guy's Dan. a cartoon character. Dr. Zeus, on, Cat in the Hat. Me. That's what I you are. I fucking got your ass. Just you didn't like get I'm going to get Rhodes. Oh, my, oh my God. You stop oh, threatening please. my husband, you son of a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to kidnap Flop and cut his arms off and videotape it and send it to you. Oh I'm going to break your mind. Oh my God. Then I'm going to break your arms. <laughs> hmm. Have you ever considered not not Okay, not we're done doing, here, Bingo. Good luck in the bus. I'm ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What what was Jesus what was that? that doesn't get any easier every time I see it. I hope that, that was face never gets easy. Um, what, I, what was that? His face was so fucking big. awful is what it was. Oh my I blink. Uh, I never I never realized I never saw his face in the years I've lived. Oof. Thanks for lending me your car, Crystal. That was very nice of you. Of course, of course. I yeah, flipped him over. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go. Hello. With that, just oh, hi, Richard. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I can't walk properly. I want to give you a rundown of what's going on with the uh, the mouse. Yeah. The mouse, yeah. What's yeah. happening? So, they're getting aggressive in wanting to negotiate for a plea deal for the mouse. Um, basically, the judges are not available for another week minimum. Um, <laughs> they're worried about, you know, the amount of time spent. Basically, it's going to get to the point where regardless of how well we do in court, they're going to get a time-served sentence. 
So what's the best tactical thing for us to do going forward, right? Right. They're, they're offering to plead guilty to both oh. the charges they're being pressed with. Nice. Um, <laughs> in, You're you know, in. And then it, obviously there was some kind of reflection in a plea deal that, you know, we, we accept this good faith gesture and maybe we like put their time down a little bit. Maybe they only serve one or two m more years on top of the, their current already custodial sentence, which I think is now like 12 days, 12 years. Right. Yeah. Now, I get it. You were the victim. It's rough. I don't want to do it. I'd rather wait for our day in court. But there is pressure coming. Now, what I can say to you, Richard, is I don't know if you've seen uh, Pipsqueak murdered somebody while we were in jail. What? Oh, there's an investigation open. The report is now complete. If you take a look at incident 8757 it's an incident uh you're aware because they're, they're getting ready to charge or they were getting ready to charge i've taken over the prosecution of that there's evidence that they took a hostage a lifer in bolingbroke willingly they oh. held out oh. hoping tried to negotiate to keep a gun in prison for themselves um, and then just executed them in front of multiple officers. I have so many witness statements. I could prosecute this right here, right now, and get a conviction. So this is what I'm going to do, Richard. I'm going to negotiate with Pipsqueak. If this is okay with you, this is your case. I don't want to take it off you, right? I mean, it's not, it's not my case. It was it's, it was Angel's case. I'm, I was just okay. I was just like I was just involved in a few of the incidences, and you know, ended mm. up being a victim of like one or two of them. Um, but I mean, you know, well, we can I'm all work talk on this. Angel too. Yeah. yeah. So he, he's my read and I, I, I'm going to give you my thing. And if with you're okay with angels, okay, this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to negotiate with the lawyer and with Pipsqueak. I'm going to offer them a cushy little plea deal, maybe one more year in jail. And the second they sign that form and they've got one more year to spend, I'm putting murder on the docket and I'm asking for life. <laughs> The escalation and the pattern of behavior shows no remorse, no willingness to rehabilitate, no ability to be a part of life in San Andreas as a civilian. Pipsqueak is a terror and a scourge on this city, and I feel like we have a very good argument to get life in jail. So get the plea for the treason and the terrorism. They've already served yeah. like so they, 12 they, years they, or whatever. Yeah. They've served, served, served 12 already. Maybe we can end it like 13 or 14. And the mm -hmm. second they sign it and, and basically admit to treason and terrorism, so they're a, a habitual uh, foot violator of capital level crimes, then I prosecute on murder. And, you know, they'll get a, they'll get a bail hearing, but who's going to cut them loose? Yeah. Honestly, that sounds perfect to me. Um, yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've shown nothing but a lack of remorse, a lack of want for rehabilitation, um, wanton An violence, of threats, yeah, yeah. All escalation of that. Yeah. every right. day. Yeah, it's uh, nonstop. So, no. yeah, I, I I completely agree. I think. Um, you know, if this is the, the, the cards we're being dealt by the DOJ, then you know, we gotta we gotta make the most of the hand, right? And um yeah. play the play play it best. And I think you yeah. came up with the, the best hand, so all right. Yeah, I mean that's fine with me, Grayson. Um okay. this is this is what we brought you in for, mate. So <clears throat> Yep. So I'm gonna to talk to the director at some point today, hopefully, and then once I get the go ahead, I'll begin. I'll reach out and look all benevolent and nice and kind, and then I'm gonna get this rat put away for life. Good, good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hundred percent. I appreciate you reaching out and uh, no lock problem. Them up. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 That was Grayson. Come here, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what that was about. Come here. You know how Pip's in jail for treason yeah. terrorism? Uh, basically, the judges won't be available for like another week or something.
um for scheduling so they were talking about a plea deal right yeah so grace is like okay let's consider the plea deal let's get the plea deal done but the issue is i just found out as grace informed me that pip squeak murdered someone in prison yes you didn't know about that i didn't know about that no okay. um so grayson's fully ready to push that charge fully ready to push the docket but what his plan is and he wants to get my go ahead is he's going to accept the plea deal um and get the guilty plea and once she's on her like last year in prison is going to push the docket post for the murder charge and push for life in prison and keep, so, her, in prison. And keep her in prison and keep her in prison yeah um because she's going to be guilty for terrorism guilty for treason show a extreme amount of violence no want for reform no nothing um that's everything that you would need for life in prison for that parole and the fact that she murdered somebody while in prison as well i mean yeah i think uh he just wanted my go ahead and that's that's just plan. <clears throat> I don't uh, I don't disagree with what he's doing. I think it's uh I think it's a good idea. I don't think we should be uh, messed around because of the DOJ not being able to schedule a case and uh you know, we're doing the right thing by coming to a plea agreement. Um but at the same time, we can't just let this kind of person out on the streets, right? Cuz Pips is going to come out and do more violent things and more terrorism. No. So, and they've you know, they're going to get sent in for murder at some point. Why not do it while they're still in prison? <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, isn't the issue that he committed the act in prison while incarcerated? Does he still get charged? Yeah, he still murdered somebody. Hey. Excuse me. Um, if you, uh, if it was Dogtown, it'd be different. Um, because there was no laws when that was a you know that was prison but no it's still a prison who's killed somebody i still a person killing another person there's no uh there's no lawlessness in prison anymore <laughs> oh yeah go ahead so yeah Part of the process. Fuck. Oh, I don't know. It might be in the cell. Oh no, he's still there. Uh... Okay, and that will be it for this. Uh, so your total will come out to be okay. Well, once again, let me just read your charges. Your charges are one count of joyriding, one count of reckless evading. Okay, one count of felony position of uh, thermal fuses, uh, one count of robbery of high accessory to robbery of higher security institution. All right, uh, I could hit you with the resisting. I'm not gonna hit you with the resisting, and it's gonna be for this situation, not the warrant. But it's gonna be 92 months, uh, twenty five thousand dollar fine, guilty plea. I could drop the the time down completely, not completely, but uh, uh, a nice amount. Yeah, I, I, I'll be guilty, dog. Hey, Dan, has he been Miranda? Yes, yeah, yes, he has. Can I ask him a few questions just before you send him? Of course, him by all means, do your thing, Richard. Thank you, thank you. I still got, I still got, I still got, I still got to process him for his warrant, also. Mister Webster, what are you wearing? Oh, what's my what's my warrant for? Uh, should I say again? Uh, oh, warrant is, my, uh, is for security outfit. I work a security job on the on the side. Mm. The warrant is for. Uh, felony obstruction and evading. Um, how do you plead to that? There's gonna be an extra seventeen hundred dollars on top of the twenty-five thousand. Uh, you know, fuck, I'll be guilty, dog. Yeah. Boy, listen, I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions about the phone okay. call you you made to me the other day after. What? Which phone uh, call? All right, listen, 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 listen. All right. 
in your gang, okay? Okay, you you guys have 